Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Put down the jelly beans and chocolate bunnies. Some say we should follow the lead of a real rabbit this Easter. They are the perfect judge. If you put it in front of them, he'll eat it. You know it's good for you. <laughs> Meet Camelot, the inspiration behind a new interpretation of rabbit food. Follow Camelot's advice. Actually, Absolutely. that's a very good idea. His rabbit rules, eat small meals several times a day. Never get too hungry or too full. Don't deprive yourself and eat meals that pop with color. He loves dry cranberries, almonds, walnuts, raisins. So I would incorporate that in just about any of the salads. Camelot's favorite, salads that serve as meals. Combine canned hearts of palm, avocados, white corn, cilantro, and cranberries. This is not just rabbit no, exactly. food. This is so rich. Top with dressing made from olive oil, white vinegar, mayo, tangerine, and lemon juice. Cayenne pepper, which gives it a little extra spice, ready to munch. Next, Camelot's twist on an anti-lettuce salad. Take plain yogurt and whisk in oil and vinegar, then stir in diced cucumbers. In here we have dried mint, dried parsley, dried dill. Add Camelot's must-have accessory. Most important are the raisins. Mm -hmm. Very healthy Easter bunny who could teach us all a lesson about eating right. They are the smartest animal that I've met. I'm Lexi McGee reporting.